Here is a simple tutorial for creating 3-view orthographic projections from a solid 3D object. Now you want to start by creating different layers. And the different layers are going to give you different color lines for different parts of the drawing. You need an object layer, which is the default white layer. You need a hidden line layer. You need a center line layer and you need a really light colored line to be your construction lines. So here I am just designating the different line colors and types for the lines that I want to use. And I'm going to create just a yellow line here and I'm going to change the line style to a dotted hidden line. So pause on this video as needed to find these different commands. Um, you'll be able to see here that I don't use the isotype lines, I'm going to use just the plain titled lines. So now I have a hidden dash line that's got a thicker weight and it's yellow. Now I'll create another layer for the other lines I was talking about. Here I'm doing the center line. I'm going to change that color to be kind of an orangish color. So similar to the yellow but just a little bit different in the way it looks. And I'm going to upload a center line type line on here. I'm going to scroll through this list. Here we go. I found a plain center line. So it's going to have a different dashed weight on it. Now lastly, I'm going to create a layer with my construction line. I just want my construction line to be just a really light color, just a very simple line. Um, something I'm going to be deleting. I just want it to not really take over my object, my hidden or center lines. I just want it to kind of be a lineup line for me as I'm making my different views. So I'm going to make that line a little bit lighter in weight. And all my other lines are a little bit thicker. Now I have these four different layers that I'm going to be using. And you'll see on the top here in the middle, whatever color is lit up, that's the color layer I'm using. So I'm starting with that white line. That's my object line. And I, now I don't care for these if you have exact dimensions, but make sure that you specify a dimension because it will help you in between your front, top, and right side views. So this one here, I made this rectangle six inches long by four inches tall. Now the first thing that I want to do with this is to explode this rectangle so I can offset lines off of it. Let's click on that and hit enter. There we go. Now it's exploded. Now what I'm going to do is use the offset commands to um, make the U shape of this part. I'm just going to offset these lines until I have that. And I'm just using object lines because I'm eventually going to trim this and keep part of these lines as object lines. One more thing that I'm going to do while I'm offsetting is I'm going to offset one of these lines here to the center. Again, it's important to use a specific dimension so that you know where to put center lines or you have some sort of perspective for something. So you don't need to have exact measurements for the blocks that you're drawing, but it's helpful if you have some kind of point of reference. Now I just turned that line into a center line. What I did was I highlighted it and then clicked onto the center, center line type on the menu above. Now I'm going to just offset these lines. I'm going to put the the whole size here. I just did the radius of 0.5 so this whole diameter is one inch and I'm going to change these to the hidden lines. Be careful not to click on the color. If you click on the yellow it'll try and get you to change the color of your line but that's not necessary. So now that I have all the lines necessary to complete my front view I'm going to go ahead and trim off the parts of the line that I don't need for this view. So basically I'm going to cut this into a U shape and delete all the extra parts of lines. Oops, looks like I got to go through and reselect my trim area just to do this top part of this line here. I selected the wrong line segments in order to trim this, so that's okay. I'll just redo the trim command and grab these lines again so that I have the right lines selected. There, that's what I needed was those verticals selected. And if something happens like that and you get something that's not working right, just hit escape and try again.
Now I'm ready to trim off the parts that I don't need. There we go, I don't need that part. I don't need that. And I don't need that. Now I have a completed front view for this object. So I show that there is a hole hidden on here. Now I can go with the construction lines and I'm going to turn my object snap on and I'm going to put on midpoints and center points and end points. That way every time I go to create a line it's going to grab a point on the line or a point on an edge and make it a little bit easier for me to line things up. See how the green rectangles are grabbing? So now what I'm going to do with this construction line is every point on my front view I'm going to just make a line over and it doesn't matter what the length of that line is but just make it long enough so that when you do a side view you can see that line in it. Oh, looks like I need to turn my my object snapping on. There we go. There I have that ortho on. Okay now I'm ready to do the lines going up to the top view and I just start from one corner and go to the next and say anywhere, basically anywhere where your line snaps to a point with a green end on it there's a line that you need to bring up and the object snapping on helps you make sure that your lines go straight up so you perfectly line up your top view and your right side view. If you didn't have your ortho on and the object snap commands on what would happen is you'd possibly get lines that aren't perfectly vertical or aren't perfectly horizontal and that would put your views off. So you want to make sure you have those commands on. Now notice I'm not making any distinguishing in my lines which ones are hidden, which ones are centered, and which ones are object. If there's a point on the front view I'm carrying it up to the top because it's going to translate somehow into the top view. And I'll clean up the top view once I have all of these construction lines placed on here. So it looks kind of confusing now, but the different colors help. And you may choose to do a little bit different colors than what I have to distinguish the lines a little bit better. These ones just were kind of easy for me to work with. Okay, now I'm ready to create my top view, and I'm going to go to the rectangle command. And again, it was a nice thing that I used specific dimensions. It didn't matter where I started from or what exactly the dimensions were, but I used specific dimensions so that I could be able to perfectly line this top view up because I have the top view at a length of 6 and if I didn't have it at an exact length I wouldn't really know how to line the top view up with the front view. So now I have the basic outline of my top view done. That's always the first thing that I do. I'm going to explode this again because I need to offset a little bit. I'm going to put that circle perfectly in the middle. So I made this top view so that it's three inches wide. So I'm going to offset it to an inch and a half and have a center line. Now I have the center line from my front view and a center line on my top view to go ahead and make my circle. And I turned that into a construction line so I knew that I would have to delete it eventually. And now I'm going to go ahead and just make the rest of my lines on here and my mouse is being kind of difficult with me. It's hard to work on a laptop when you don't have an actual mouse and you just have that little keypad. So I can draw lines even if they're on construction lines like this one went back to construction line for some reason. I can draw that line on here, get that set up perfectly on here. And then I can go ahead and highlight that line and turn it back into an object line. You can always change the line types in the middle of your work. It doesn't really matter when you do it. I mean, I like to keep it organized. Okay, now I've got the circle created, and I'm going to turn that back into an object line, too, so I don't get that confused and accidentally delete it. Looks like I have most of the top view done. I'm going to take a double look at it, see if there's anything I have to clean up right now. Turn that back into a construction line so I know to delete it. There we go. It's a little bit confusing right now because the line colors are so close together. Like I said, I'd, I'd maybe consider picking a different line colors to help you see it a little bit better if you think that you're going to lose track of what you're working on. So now I'm going to go and come here and do another rectangle. Having my object snap on just helps me grab a point on that plane that I can start from. And again, I'm going to use the dimensions I already established for this rectangle to go ahead and create this rectangle on here again.
There we go, that was easy. And I know because I have those horizontal lines that it's lined up perfectly. I'm going to explode this right side view again so I can use the edges of my rectangle to go ahead and offset and line up that hole. Just going to put a line in the center here and it's coming through looks like it's coming through as an object line. I'm going to turn that into a center line because I'm going to keep part of that line as my center line. Now I'm going to do another offset and get the the edges of my hole and those came out as center lines. I'm going to highlight both of those and turn those back into hidden lines. Hard to, again, hard to see the color differences. These weren't great choices, but you can see there's a difference in the line type. That's another reason I changed the line type. Now I'm going to create a line across here, and I created it as a object line, but I know that that's a hidden line, so I'm going to go ahead and change that style. Okay, now let me take a look at what I got here. I have to do a little bit of trimming just to clean this view up. extra parts and there's my mouse pad being clumsy again okay there we go get rid of those lines and now the drawing looks accurate to me and I'm just gonna zoom back out to zoom extents and see my whole picture and see if this looks like it's correct now you can kind of look at it this way and say, yeah, okay, maybe I missed a line here or there. Um, but what you can also do is start to erase your construction lines. They were just there for the purpose of helping you line up your views. Start erasing those construction lines. And once you erase those, all you'll have left is your object, your hidden, and your center lines. And that should tell you if your drawing is correct or not. So let's take a look here. Oh, I have one last construction line to get rid of. Okay, there we go. Now my drawing should be correct. If I lined up everything correctly from the front view to the top and the right side, that'll be correct. If I'm done, I'm just going to save it as, and I'm just going to give this one a name as some kind of orthographic practice. Save it as that, and then show me the file when you have it done. 